Good afternoon, everyone. This video is going to go through the ins and outs of the winter weather that will be affecting our coverage area tonight through early tomorrow afternoon. As we take a look at the overall picture, we see that a low pressure is sitting over the lower Midwest, with the cold front dropping back through the south central United States. Additionally, a warm front will be moving through our area overnight, which will be the cause for much of our worries in the next 12 to 24 hours. This warm front will be, will be bringing warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico and transporting it into our area. In meteorology, we call this warm air advection. At the same time, a high pressure will be sitting over southeastern Canada, which will bring cold, polar air into the northernmost part of the storm. This is called cold air advection. Where these two air masses meet and override each other is where we'll see the mixed precipitation tonight. So we get a better idea of why we're going to see this sleet and or ice in some of our northern areas, we're going to take a look at a skew T plot. And I know this diagram looks extremely complicated, so I'm going to zoom in on the part of the diagram that we really care about in this situation. And I know it still looks extremely com complicated, but once, um, once I show you how to read this, it'll be easier to understand. The weird thing about these diagrams is that the line of constant temperature are diagonal. So, for example, I put a blue dashed line over the zero degree mark, and as you can see, it's a diagonal line. So, all along that line, it's going to be zero degrees. Um, also, on the left side of the diagram, there are numbers such as 1,000, 850, 700, 500, 300, and 200. These numbers represent different levels of the atmosphere in millibars. In meteorology, we tend to use pressure instead of height to designate different levels of the atmosphere. For your convenience, there are numbers in red next to the pressure levels, which shows height in kilometers. For example, next to the 700 millibars, it says 3 kilometers. The red zigzagging line all over the screen is the temperature line. Now that red line shows the temperature at each level of the atmosphere. And remember, temperatures are diagonal on this. So, when, pre when precipitation starts to fall out of the cloud, it's snow. Because as you can see, this red line, most of the red line, uh, the upper part of this diagram, the red line is below freezing. As you can see, around 700 millibars, or at 3 kilometers, the temperature goes above freezing. At this point, the snow starts to melt into rain. Then, around 300, or excuse me, 850 millibars, the temperature goes back below freezing again. So it goes from rain and freezes again. So the raindrops don't turn back into snowflakes, but they become little frozen balls that we call sleet. And that's how you get sleet. Theoretically, if the temperature went back below freezing at a lower level in the atmosphere, such as maybe half a kilometer it finally went back below freezing, then we would likely see freezing rain, because just having the rain fall through half a kilometer is not going to give it enough time to freeze again, but it would finally freeze once it hits the cold surface. So that's why we're likely going to see more sleet out of the storm than we're going to see ice. Because the cold air at the surface is deeper than we would like it to be for freezing rain. Let's move on to the current alerts. At the time of the making of this video, the National Weather Service had issued a winter weather advisory for Lebanon, Schuylkill, Berks, Lehigh, and Northampton counties. Um, the alert starts at 7 p.m. tonight, and then ends tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Alright, this is our final forecast for the storm. For the areas in pink, we expect the storm to start as sleet and then change over to rain after a few hours. Areas that are in the southern part of this pink area will likely see the switch over to rain more quickly. Also, pink areas will see less ice than we initially thought since the warm air at the surface will be deeper than, or excuse me, the cold air at the surface will be deeper than we initially thought. 
The dark green area is where we expect to see heavier rainfall during this event, due to a secondary low pressure that will form offshore. And, um, that's pretty much it for our thoughts on this storm. Uh, at the time of the making of this video, our Facebook page was at 98 likes, so be sure to go like our Facebook page at prww.weather. So it would be facebook.com slash prww.weather. And for all of PRWW, have a great night and stay safe.